G'day viewers, Elder Succubus here with Gears 3 commentary on Drado. Today I've got a match going 20 and 4. I'll be talking about the current Gears of War 4 news and the upcoming beta, as well as my thoughts on the current state of Gears of War. As of this recording, Game Informer has released a few pages on Gears 4 which show off a few of the weapons and a few details about the game. They also showed some concept art off, which I honestly felt was a bit lacking. The new characters shown could have easily been passed off as the next cast of Uncharted or Borderlands, and I legitimately wouldn't have realised that had they not shown the big Gears 4 title on top of the picture. Gears to me has always been a game where you play as absolute meatheads the size of a small car who would rightfully rip a locust in half given the chance. In a way, it was a nice change from the typical shooters where you played as some typical Gary Stew of a gun. Not only were you wielding a weapon, you were the weapon. And it was comical in just how over the top it was. Hopefully that's just an aesthetics issue and gameplay isn't too drastically different. Being able to punch a locust till the head exploded was always fun. As far as some of the things we've seen in regards to the weapons, they've shown off a few of the old guns such as Lancer, Snub and Hammer Burst, and a few new ones. There's one that shoots circular discs to slice enemies up, which sounds awfully familiar. A gun called a buzzkill that seems to be replacing the utility of the digger, and there's also a knife confirmed for each of the playable factions, which supposedly allows assassinations. I'm a bit concerned hearing this, but they say it can be countered. It really doesn't inspire any hope though. The chainsaw could also be countered, but we also knew how that turned out. If they need to add measures to stop it, it really sounds like a pointless addition, especially considering the lancer and chainsaw are already confirmed to be returning. Reeks of adding new unbalanced weapons for the sake of it. See the retro and sawn off in Gears 3. They also supposedly say they want to make mantle kicking easier for everyone, and that they want it to work on all cover. Anyone who's actually played Gears 3 can tell you why this is fucking retarded. I really don't need to explain why this is a terrible idea. For its original intended purpose of stopping camping, it spectacularly backfired in the sense that people use it as an unstoppable camping technique since pushing someone of a man towards a guaranteed suicide. Regarding multiplayer, they gave the usual dedicated server bullshit. I'll only believe that once I see it in action. They've also said they want to focus heavily on the competitive side of things. Hopefully this doesn't translate to the horrible ways they fuck Gears 3 over trying the same thing. Namely, huge shopping power boosts and making the rifles all outright power weapons. I'm personally in favour of doing what they did for Gears 1 which, no surprise, was the most successful competitive Gears game to date. They focused on making a good game, and they delivered a good game, and the players took care of the rest. Sure, adding competitive modes is fine, but I really don't think they should ever design a game from the ground up with competitive in mind. That's always bound to backfire, when the scene inevitably dies in a relatively short amount of time, and the remaining players have to deal with the mistakes they made for good. See Gears of War 3. Anyway, enough of my usual bickering. Some things I'd like to see for Gears 4, obviously. I'd like the beta to be as good as the Gears 3 beta was, and this time the actual game to be the same. They've said that they're using mechanics based off Gears 3, which is good news, since Bar Mantle Kicks Gears 3 had a pretty solid cover system. I'd also like to see some much, much better and numerous maps this time around, I like Gears of War 2. Nearly every Gears 3 map was designed around Horde, and it was painfully obvious. It was horrible one-sided maps and way too many single high points flanked by choke points. The symmetry of Gears 1 and 2 maps needs to return. Even if you hated those two games, I've still yet to meet someone who didn't like the maps almost unanimously. Multiplayer has been confirmed to run at 60 frames per second, which is nice. And regardless of the quality of the games, Gears of War has always looked fantastic, so I'm sure 4 won't be an exception to that. I'd like to make a quick shout out to Filthy Wirebot, he's another Aussie Gearshead who uploads Gears commentaries and gameplay far more frequently than me. I'll link his channel in the description so go check his stuff out. He has a lot of interesting points regarding Gears in general so I'd highly suggest you go check his channel out and give him a sub. But if the beta goes well you'll definitely be seeing more content from me in the upcoming weeks. I've been a bit quiet lately but I'm still looking to make more videos so fear not. Also, if there's any Aussies out there who want to play Gears 3, feel free to add me. It's sometimes hard getting players on Gears 3 these days, so having teammates will be great.
else, if anyone's interested, I'm going to be making a Gears of War collaboration video in the near future. So if you record and you're Aussie and you want to send some of your clips to me, feel free to send me a link on YouTube or Xbox. It's hopefully going to be similar to the quadtage I made a year or so back. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Leave some comments down below and later for now.